Lauren, where are we going? Yes. All right, so we made it to the hotel. This is our room. And this is Ryan trying to not be on camera. <laughs> be normal. All right, so we're waiting to go to the Twitch party slash Acer party because they're not invited to the Twitch party. I wasn't invited up until a couple hours ago when they realized they had enough See tickets. So it's all good, but it's all in the same place. We'll all be together at some point. But I, I wanted to show you guys something. So <laughs> we came in, we wanted to put our drinks in this mini fridge. So it looks awesome, right? And I saw this and I was like, I need this in my life. So I picked it up and I was like looking at it and then I showed Bobby. And then I also picked up these chocolate pretzels. But then if you, <laughs> Bobby so intelligently pointed out. Your mini bar is fully computerized. Every item removed will result in an automatic charge to your account. I hope every time you pick it up and put it back down, it charges you. Oh my God. Do you think? So this guy is mine, <laughs> whether we want him or not, but I, I wanted him anyway, even though it's probably gonna cost me an arm. An arm? An arm. Like, and an arm. But I don't want these. I mean, I'll eat them. They're just, it's chocolate covered pretzels. But I definitely picked them up and I'm definitely gonna be charged for them. There's stuff on the side too, but it keeps you from putting your own drinks in there. So now we can't even put our own waters or sodas. It's a conspiracy. Ryan, where'd oh, you get the popcorn? Who oh, gave you that popcorn? I just found it over here. It Andy Milnakis gave us that popcorn. Andy I don't trust it. I don't it. give a shiver. Who gave it to me right now? Good morning, guys. Um, we're hurting pretty bad this morning, but it's okay. It could be worse. Um, but we were up late last night and um, had a couple drinks. Nothing too crazy. I don't, I think I'm just mainly tired. Um, I don't know if I can say the same for Bobby, but got home. You're good? Now we're finally gonna head over to the convention center for the first time. Pick up my badge and go to the panel. And then the rest of the day we have, we get to chill. I don't think I scheduled anything the rest of the day. So we can go buy all the things and go see all the booths. And I need a coffee or an energy drink or something. How about one right there? I know, I'm gonna have one right now. So I'm, I'm fading, fading. Markiplier and friends. 1.30 to 2.30, main theater. This year, that life says it. That's gonna be you. Today we're going to talk about YouTube gaming live. You can in fact stream on YouTube and uh, it's pretty awesome. So my name is Clintus. I'm actually a, I'm a daily vlogger at youtube.com slash Clintus. That's my, my main channel. That's what I've been doing for uh, 10 years on YouTube. Uh, Clintus Games is my gaming channel and I've been live streaming over there. Um, my name is Stat. Well, my name is Sterling. My channel is Stat. And I've been streaming on YouTube gaming for about 20 months. I started a month before YouTube gaming launched. My name's Lauren. My channel <laughs> is Lauren Side or Lauren Z Side. Uh, started as Lauren Side, but people started calling it Lauren Z Side. Cool with it. Um, and I've been on YouTube for four years. I just started doing YouTube gaming live streaming. Uh, I mainly do like sim theme sims, let's plays, and uh, variety games, horror games. Great about, guys. <laughs> Perfect time. I'm Jake, or Team Bibney Jake. Uh, I do mostly gameplay videos, real life videos. Uh, we do a lot of GTA 5 and uh, comedy style content. Uh, my name is Logan. My channel name is Team of Bibney Logan, but I mainly help Jake run this channel. Biggest question right now on everyone's mind is this a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Unanimously, we're all saying yes. If no. Lauren says so, <laughs> if Lauren says so, then it is. What, what is a sandwich? Two pieces of bread with something in the middle, right? <laughs> the real question is, why am I on YouTube, right? 
Why stream on Why stream on YouTube? Yeah, no, I, I really love streaming on YouTube just because I get to connect with my audience more than VODs, I think. Same, you get to interact more, you don't get lost in the comments so much, especially with like Super Chat now that they've implemented. I can even see people that want to like actually support the live stream. I get to see them, see what they want to say. I think live streaming is like a raw experience that people don't really get from videos. Like they see you, you make mistakes, they see a part of you that they don't normally see when you edit out, you know, every time you stutter or whatever. And I think that it makes them feel more connected to you and you can also feel more connected to them. I started it as like a hobby because I was in a job that I didn't like and I wasn't using my degree, which was in uh, video production. And I started seeing all these YouTube gamers coming about. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like I should try it. And if you go back, like you said, I have my first videos up and they're horrible. I like barely edited them. And then I even have a video that I like laugh at every now and then because um, it was me celebrating hitting 300 subscribers and I was so excited. I was doing like a giveaway. Um, and then I was like, oh, like I, maybe I can get 100,000 someday. And now I'm at like 600,000 and I still can't believe how much it keeps growing. Um, but yeah, if you, do it, if you do it for fun, you'll be happy matter how, like, I was ecstatic getting 300 subscribers, so as long as you start it for the right reasons, you'll eventually get at least a fan base that you're happy with and enjoy live streaming for, making videos for. <laughs> 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 well, the pilot is, is it hard to... It's hard to keep everything set up, like, um, like that was a uh, amateur YouTube mistake that, <laughs> I mean, you, you start to learn, like, I, instead of buying, like, proper light, I bought a light that I, like, tried to sit on top of my monitor, so anytime I would get scared, I'd hit the desk <laughs> with the wall, and then people ended up liking it, so I kept doing it until the light eventually broke, and it felt like it. Um, but usually it's not hard. The hardest thing is making sure that like your live stream's not buffering, you don't, you don't get lagged out to where nobody can really watch you. Um, but once you finally grow, like you know, uh, not everybody has the money to buy an awesome setup. So yes, there's probably problems when you have a uh, like lower quality setup. But once you start building it, now I don't. I have a proper light that sits on the floor and <laughs> doesn't fall on me. Will you buy me a dog me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> My question for you guys is, do you guys like personally like uploading regular videos, like pre recorded videos, or do you like live streaming? I like both for different reasons. <clears throat> if I feel like there's some weeks where I feel kind of disconnected from my audience, um, and I'll live stream and then I feel more connected, motivates me more to make videos. Uh, I do like regular video game videos though because I can kind of shape stories and be more creative in that way. Uh, yeah, so I like both in very different ways. It depends how I'm feeling.